Hey, what's up guys? I'm Andrew Bacon. So I built this awesome fireplace in our bedroom and when it came time to do the mantle, I thought I could do it myself and I am so glad that I did. It was super cheap and way easy and so I would love to show you how I built it on this episode of Field Treasure Designs. I started with just two white wood boards and obviously they're going to be unique to my measurements, but I have plans available that you can download and use to maybe work off of to make your own modifications, you know, to get the sizing right for you. But yeah, I'm just cutting them to length. Then I'm going to take them over to my table saw to cut them to the right width. First, I'm cutting down the sides. Next, I'm cutting the top and the bottom to get them to the right width as well. And last, I cut the width of the front board, which is the longest and the widest. For assembly, I grab the top and the bottom boards and space them out. Then I put some wood glue down and then I grab the front facing board and I'm going to place it on top. And as you can see here, I actually measured and cut wrong for my two sides. I want the front facing board to block those two other boards so it's one clean looking mantle. And so I took the two sides off, I ran them back to my table saw, got them cut to the right length, and then boom, put it back together and now you can see it fits perfectly. So this is spacing it out for me so that I can nail in the top and the bottom boards real quick. Next, I applied wood glue and nailed in both sides. And done. So yeah, there's the box. And now I get to do the fun part, sand it down. So I sanded it as smooth as I could possibly get it. I think I got it all the way up to like 900 sand grit. And then I used a tack cloth just to wipe it down, get all the dust off it. And then for the color, I actually found a really cool trick. So I am using a water-based wood stain and it is a white wash pickling color and so I went all over the front of this thing it's hard to tell that it's actually going on but you're going to see the big difference when I go to put on the next coat of color here in a second after the first coat dried I sanded it with a really fine sandpaper and then I grabbed my tack cloth again just to knock off any of that extra dust next I busted out the next color and so I'm using a water-based wood stain again, and this time it's in early American. And so basically I painted it on, but it was still a little bit too dark. And so I took a cloth and I wiped it down to achieve kind of that really light, kind of faded, washed out wood look. And I'm just using a paper towel and man, I am loving the way this turns out. And so, yeah, this is super cool. I just do this process around the whole box and then let it dry. And I think it looks awesome. It's gonna contrast really well because I'm gonna hang it on a white shiplap fireplace. Speaking of my fireplace, here it is. So this is how you mount your mantle to the fireplace. You can check out my full bedroom fireplace build on my other YouTube video. I'll link to it right now. But yeah, basically I just cut a two by four that's less length so it fits behind the mantle. I pre-drilled four screw holes so I could drive in two inch deck screws. And there is blocking, two by four blocking, on the frame behind the shiplap that this board is going to anchor to. Once I got those driven in, I then put some extra blocking just so that there's a little bit more meat for the mantle to rest on. Then I took the mantle and I just slid it on top of that blocking. I had already pre-drilled three holes and countersunk them so that the head of the screw will go just below the surface then I can fill in those holes. And so, yeah, once it was ready to go, I just drove in those screws. And there it is, my DIY mantle. Man, I am so glad I did this project. It was so easy and super cheap. Well, hey, thanks so much for watching. I hope it was helpful. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video. Thanks.